time for another update on the pepper plants and everything else had a lot of it's been a while since I've done one of these so things have changed quite a bit got a lot of growth going on here there's all these pepper plants here all various kinds Carolina Reaper Bishop's Crown Habanero Cajun Bell Caribbean no let's see Scotch Bonnet a lot of shit a lot of good stuff so we have these going here they're starting to produce flowers which is very encouraging all I have is bumblebees here to pollinate but they do it we did it last year let's see here we have the strawberries they're doing pretty well here we have Winston he's doing all right yeah look at this and Roxy you and cat you see What's this? We got some activity here. Aphids? We're have to take care of that. No, I'll just leave it outside. Nature will get it. Peas. Yeah, get it. With a little trellis here for them to grow. They like this. This this is a big Bishop's Crown pepper plant. Got destroyed by aphids on the in the during the winter. It's coming back now that I put it outside. Some type of natural control for the aphid population out here. I don't really know what. More strawberries. Mom's plants. More peppers. Spinaches. All going to seed. But whatever. They serve their purpose. This plant's from this year. Same as the others, but some grow faster than others for some reason. We could take these seeds Same thing with this guy. This guy. Another pepper, pepper, pepper. More spinach. Hey, is this Bishop's Crown right here, Rob? Maybe. Just look at this. What's that? That looks probably a pepper bud. No, well, I know, but I mean, look at the shape. You can tell by the shape pretty quick if it's a Bishop's Crown because they have a very distinctive shape to them. Still, looks like it looks like still trying to figure out what to do with these asparagus. They're pretty uh, wilty. I don't know. Never did asparagus. Trial and error. More spinach. Peas. Let's see. Watermelon. This one doesn't seem to do too well. I never do well with watermelon. Hopefully this year is different, but I don't think it will be. More stuff. Peppers in an improvised container. These peas are going bananas, lettuce, more peas, peppers, more peppers, I like peppers, peppers, lettuce, I gotta plant these somewhere, they're all going to seed anyway. Let's see. Outdoor garden, we have here. There's some squash, a little fruit starting here. Got some net for them to run up. Did irrigation this year too. Soaker hoses. They're working out pretty well. It's more lettuce. They were in it was in pots, but I needed the pot for the peppers. Tomatoes. These things are massive. They're like hip high. Turn out turns out I uh, overplanted on the tomatoes counted 49 plants on my last count it's a lot you want your sandwich? not yet got the herb box here yeah. parsley oh, flowers an empty bottle of Kraken that was brought here. It didn't grow here. Roxy. Hello, Roxy. Doogie. I love you, Rox. More tomatoes. Oh, Rox. Take it easy, Roxy. <laughs> These tomatoes are chest high. Planted them this year. They're really going nuts here. 
I'm loving it. Corn. This year I put corn and squashes and cucumbers and stuff sorted together. I figured the vines would... Got very sandy soil here. So I figured the vines would retain, help the soil retain a little bit more moisture. It's doing pretty well. Soy. They don't get a lot of light here, but we'll see how they do. More tomatoes. Lots of them. Some other plant, kind of plant. My friend told me what it is, but I don't know what I don't recall what he said it was. It's definitely not a weed. And over here, this is the most recently planted bed. Just finished this one a couple days ago. Small tomato plants, soy some lettuce, and a blackberry bush. This will be very interesting to see how this comes out. All right, and that's it. I'll put up an update later on. Later, folks.